Welcome to Focus Garage. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do your own ethanol gauge DIY style. It's going to be three part video. First part we're going to talk about uh, what is ethanol gauge and what are the components and also special tools that you would need. Second part would be the wiring diagram because you have to do some wiring obviously. Uh, you would have a couple of different option for screen depending on the uh, budget that you have you might not want to go with the most expensive screen you could go with the cheaper one so I'm giving you guys this option uh, I will show you guys the wiring diagram for that so you don't have to stuck with the whatever I'm using and the third part would be in me installing the uh, components into the car and testing it out the gauge versus whatever I'm testing in the pump so hopefully I will get my uh, pump tester to see that. If not, we'll just believe the gauge is right. So, why? Uh, what? What is a? What is an ethanol gauge? Ethanol gauge is a gauge that shows you how the concentration of ethanol in your gas tank. Uh, this could fluctuate because of uh, you might have some. Uh, you might have more E ninety three in there, or that ethanol at the uh, gas pump is not correct. So it's not E85, it could be E50 or whatever because they could flex in, at the pump and uh, the, this could help, uh, I mean this could uh, destroy your engine because you don't have the right fuel for your right tune. So ethanol gauge helps to determine that and also helps you with uh, calculating if you're mixing, helps you with the calculation of uh, how much ethanol versus 93 you need to use. So it's a very helpful gauge as much as I mean if you're e mix if you're if you have an e mix tune, it's as much as helpful as the boost gauge. So I will show you guys what the components are uh, one by one and uh, show you guys what are the options out there you could get to make it cheaper and explain all the components as well detailed. So let's get to it and I'll show you guys the components. So the first component we have over here is the screen. This is an OLED screen. I went with the uh, most expensive option that you can get because I wanted a smaller screen. Uh, you could get an LED or LCD or uh, yeah, I think those are the only options. And they are kind of, they're bigger and I need it, uh, I need it to, to be as compact as possible. So this will show, this would be the, the uh, this will show you guys what the this will show you guys what the ethanol com uh, concentration in your tank if it's like E50 or whatever it will show you E50 right here so the second component is the Arduino Nano this is the brain of the uh, operation where it will decode whatever the signal is getting from the fuel line and show you guys communicate that to the screen and show you guys that so there are cheaper options out there you could get a, a Chinese version of it but be aware that the Chinese version won't be detected by the Arduino Nano software where you need to write the program you might have to go an extra step to figure it out so it's on you if you get the Chinese version third component is the sensor so this is a basic sensor it's a GM sensor made by Continental for GM and everybody uses the same sensor so the price fluctuates a lot so you might be able to find a really good deal on this or so be aware that the good deals are out there don't settle for the first one you see so it's a basic sensor fuel goes in here reads it uh, I believe it's a analog sensor and it converts, uh, sends the information to uh, Arduino Nano with a, you need a, you need a resistor, it's a 4.7 kilo ohms resistor to help with the uh, signal and the Arduino Nano will decode that to uh, screen. So 
You need just one, not 50 like I got. It was just a good deal. I couldn't pass on. I might use it for something else. But anyway, let's go to the uh, wiring harness. You could make this your own. You could buy all the components separately and make them. And it's cheaper to make it yourself. But I just wanted something easy, plug, and don't deal with uh, wiring because I have to do a lot of... Uh, wiring that I mean I have to do a lot of wiring soldering and whatnot and this was just something that I didn't want to deal with it's easy you could do it you could save a lot of money uh, for going with the components level to this I believe you get this part separately and then this clip over here and then you can use whatever wire you want just make sure it's color coded for your own sake you could use the same color if you want if you're crazy like that so the next components would be really depends on your setup I have auxiliary fuel so my setup is gonna be a little bit different than yours if you don't have one and also depending on what auxiliary fuel system you have stratify is one of them speed performance other one there are other ones like panda right now and uh, I believe tune plus have it as well so it really depends on that system but in my system uh, I would need five connectors or where I'm setting this up uh, to make it easy I want to get it out of where the uh, intake is coming in because it's a very tight spot and I don't want a sensor just there where the intake is it just I just want it out of the way and the other thing is this sensor right here is a 3 8 connector and your OEM hose whatever your connection this is a 516 so you still want to get a you still need a connector uh, it could be like a 5 5 uh, 16 to 3 8 connector you know steps down to your OEM you could just like plug it in there you can make a T whatever you want so it's all up to you this right here your fuel hose and all that stuff is all up to you to determine this will be the more flexing part of how much money you're gonna spend you could spend like as little as five dollars or you could spend as much as twenty dollars on this so it's all up to you so the tools you would need uh, one of the special tool you would need uh, is a soldering iron if you never used one before it's very easy to use uh, don't be afraid to google it YouTube it whatever and learn how to do it and you can practice it on a straight wire whatever just practice it's a very good skill to learn because if you have any fraying uh, if you have any broken wires at your house or your car or something like that you know don't electrocute yourself but you could be able to solder it together instead of using electric tapes which is very awful method of connecting two wires together so the second one is the quick disconnect for the fuel lines you can get it from anywhere you want. Could be Amazon, eBay, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever. And they are five dollars to ten dollars. It's uh, it's just a tool to get your OEM uh, part out of it because like you gotta push these little here. I mean push them out so the tool goes in where the lip is and then pushes those out and then you can just disconnect them. So that's the way to do it. And if you don't, if you've never done that before, you can watch uh, auxiliary fuel installations or anything like that. Or uh, there are videos out there that you could learn that skill as well. I don't know where you would use it. It's a good skill to learn, I guess, if you have a car like this and doing DIYs and whatnot. And if you never install the auxiliary fuel, uh, if you're going to do it, and this is a way to have that component, uh, the tool. So the other thing I would suggest is um, disconnecting your battery because whenever you're dealing with any electrical stuff, you want to disconnect it. So a tool for that would be a wrench or socket or something like that. I believe it's 8 millimeters or 13 if you're doing it at the uh, firewall connection. And if you want to secure this anywhere in your car permanently uh 
it's up to you I wouldn't I would just zip tie it or something like that and or anything like this if you want to like make a special place for this in your in your cup holder or anywhere in your car it's all up to you I probably wouldn't because it would be shift around a lot so something that I would uh, I wouldn't do and yeah that's those are the components and the tools you, you would need so this covers the components and the tools that you need for the DIY E85 gauge. If you have any questions, please feel free to com uh, comment below this video or uh, you guys can reach us on Facebook or Instagram at Focus Garage. Mike and I are pretty good at responding back. We try to uh, respond something back as soon as possible. And uh, also, you can, you can comment below if, if something that you know that I didn't uh, know and I didn't cover on this video to help everybody out uh, trying to do this uh, and I will try to fix uh, fix it on the next video so if you haven't subscribed please do so uh, it helps us uh, this is our just a hobby and it just makes us do more videos and share more knowledge with you guys if we think that there are people out there that it's interested and uh, like and share this video also if you if you think it's helpful so I will come back with the part two and part three as well part two would be the like again the wiring diagram and part three would be the me installing the uh, E85 gauge and kind of testing it uh, I will try I think I have a, a E85 gauge uh, the tester kit that I got from Amazon I'll try the pump I'll test the pump through that and then uh, we'll go back into the car and see what the gauge is reading. It might take a little bit uh, because you know there needs to be some circulation of fuel to get the correct uh, reading and I'll show you guys that process as well. And once we are good, uh, you can go ahead and use this and do whatever you want. You, you can sell it, make a kit, sell it because uh, not a lot of people want to do some soldering and putting all these components together, they just want to get it. And I, yeah, this is, uh, instead of spending 300 bucks, they might want to spend less. So, thanks for watching. Kudos to all.